Hi, and welcome back to Chapter 2 of the Introduction to JavaScript course. I'm Mark Lassoff, and in this section, we're going to be talking about variables. Variables are an important concept in any programming language, and JavaScript is no exception. I've pulled up my basic document structure here, and you may have noticed it's a little bit different and includes the doc type declaration for HTML4, which is included in the HTML template in the uh, text editor that I'm using. So uh, we've got our cursor flashing in the body, so I'm going to start by putting in our script tags. Language equals JavaScript. Type equals text slash JavaScript. You'll have this memorized in no time. All right, so we'll close the script tag. So, of course, now between the opening and closing script tags, we're not writing in HTML. We're writing in JavaScript. So I'm going to start off by declaring a variable. Now, when you declare a variable in JavaScript, you use the var statement, and then the name of the variable. Now, the name of the variable can be just about anything that describes the variable. You don't want to use punctuation characters like the exclamation point or the period or the dollar sign. Um, you can use a mix of lowercase and capital letters. So I'm going to set my first variable to user name equals Mark Lassoff. All right. Now, when we declare the variable, this is actually the declaration. We say var and username. Now, when we set the initial value of the variable, as we do here with equals Mark Lassoff, that's known as an assignment. Now, another way I can write this would be like this. I'm going to comment that out so uh, the browser won't process it. And we'll just say var username, and then username equals Mark Lassoff. So what we have on line 13 is known as variable declaration. We're declaring to the JavaScript processor within the browser that, hey, we're going to have a variable called username. Now, we only use the var statement the first time. After that, we just use the variable name, which is username. And this is the variable initialization. So we've got declaration and initialization right here. All right, so we've declared our variable. We've initialized our variable. So what we're going to do next is we're going to simply output the variable. Document, write, and then I'm going to say username. Now, notice I didn't put quotes around it. And when I don't put quotes, means we're going to output the value of the variable. So I'm going to save, and I'm going to load this into one of my browsers. There we go. And we're going to go to unit 2. There we go. And variables.html. There's the file that I want. And looks like we've got a bit of an error. Let's see if we can see what it is. And my error was actually a silly one. I didn't put quotes around the string. If I'm using text as the value, I've got to put quotes around it. If I'm using just a number, as I'll demonstrate in a minute, I don't have to put quotes. So let me save. Let's bring up the browser again. Let's refresh the file, and there we go. So we get the output here, my name, which I set as the value to username, and when we document write out this value without quotes, we get the value that's in here. Now, the value of a variable can change over time. So if I set the username to my brother's name, and then document write username. The second time we write out the username, let's write out a break here so it looks neat. The second time it writes out the name, that value will have changed because we initialize the variable here with var, we assign a value to the username, we write out that value, and then we change the value of username, we write out a break, and we write out username again. Let me save, and I'll pull up the browser, and let's refresh, and there we get the new value of username. I want to talk just quickly about the var statement. The var statement in JavaScript is actually optional. However, I encourage you to use it every time, because otherwise you'll have trouble with variable scope, which is a concept we'll discuss a little bit later. But variables may be present and may be recognized in different programming scopes. 
For example, you saw a function earlier in the course, and if we declare a variable in a function, the variable is local to that function. If that sounds confusing now, don't worry about it. We'll talk about it a little later in the course as well. All right, so we always use var would be my advice. And we've got assignment, and we've got reassignment here. Now, I've been saying username equals Mark Lassoff, or username equals Brett Lassoff. That's not particularly accurate. When we use equals in this context, the equal sign is known as the assignment operator. And the assignment operator's job is simply to assign a value. So the way we would actually read line 17 is username is assigned the value Brett Lassoff. When it's in quotes, that means it's a string. So it's going to be treated just as text. Let's see an example of assigning a value as a number. So I'm going to say user age equals 37, which actually is my current age. All right, so user age equals 37. Now this works the same way. Document write user age. But because we're treating it as a value, because we're treating it as a value, we're going to be able to use mathematical operators, which I'll show you in the next lecture, on that variable. So we're going to be able to add, subtract, divide, multiply, etc. All right, so now our program is going to declare the username variable. It's going to set the username or assign the value Mark Lassoff to username. It's going to write out the username. It's going to reassign the value Brett Lassoff to username. It's going to write out a break. It's going to write out Brett Lassoff this time because that's the value of username. It's going to write out another break. We're going to set user age to 37. I hope you guys caught me there forgetting to use the var. I just added it. And then we document write out user age. So we're going to get 37 on the last line of the output. By the way, when we use both a initialization and declaration in the same line, it's a combined initialization declaration. And because it's shorter, this is the most common way that programmers will do it. They'll declare and initialize their variables at the same time. Let's take a quick look at the output. And there we go. So there we've taken a look at assigning a variable by using variable declaration, variable initialization. We've reassigned the value of the variable. We've used both string variables, which are quotes and are output directly as text, and numerical values, which are output as values and that you can use mathematical operators on, which we'll see in the next lecture.